Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Nancy Watts is here with us in the studio. We're used to seeing her on the Hilton Head News with Bob. So what a pleasure to have you here, Nancy. Lisa, it's good to be here, and I'm glad to be back because I haven't been here in a while. Well, we're glad to have you. Nancy uh, was with Where to Go Magazine, Hilton Head Island, and beyond. So today we're going to talk about the free things to do here in the Low Country. You know, there are plenty of things to do when you, it costs you a little bit or a lot, depending on what, how you know how much money you had to spend but the free things are also just as good and are <coughs> not only just as good but you know free absolutely free is a good word well let's start with some of the island activities <coughs> okay let's start I'm sorry I didn't mean to gurgle like that but uh, the uh, First Presbyterian Church has got a camera show now if you if you're a photographer and you'd like to do photography Mm -hmm. You might get some new ideas looking at these at these pictures, but there's some gorgeous stuff over there in, in, the, in their, their South Annex. Plus, if you like movies and you want a free movie, they started on, uh, on July the 11th with, oh dear, what was the one they had first? Oh, let me look and see, because we, we missed it. We, oh, Chariots of Fire, oh. which you may have seen. Mm -hmm. And then the, the one that's coming up uh, next is out of Africa, which is a wonderful movie. I have seen that one, and also have the I even have the soundtrack for it. Gosh, the music is gorgeous. But free, take your family. Yes, and if you have a family, it can get expensive, like you said. And mm. if you, whether you're a guest to the island or you're a local, all the kids are out for summer, so we got to keep them busy. So you these are some it. good things. Speaking of movies, what about Shelter Cove? Oh my goodness, well they are, you know, they stay busy all the time. And I hear that, of course, fireworks are back. That was a little bit of a <laughs> problem last week or on the 4th of July, but we'll forget all about that because now they have a new pyrotechnics technics person and it'll be better than ever, I feel sure, because they do look after their, their oh, yeah. um, people who come. They, on Tuesday nights, that's fireworks. Mm -hmm. And then on Thursday nights, they have a, um, have another show. Well, and then of course, Cappy the Clown is there Monday through Friday nights, which, you know, for your children, Cappy is really, she's a great lady. She's been doing this a long time. She has. <laughs> I knew her when she first came to the island, and I have known her and loved her. She's a wonderful person, and she's a great clown. So um, that's, you can do that. Take them over there. And if you don't want to park, and you may not be able to get a place to park because they are so busy, right. you can park down at Chapin Park. Okay. And, and take a free, oh, a free a ride over there. That's great. That's great. So free shuttle, free, free shuttle. activities. Sounds good. You Sounds may good. have to spend a little bit if you want to, or I guess you could carry your own water. Sure. If you really want to be a cheap. <laughs> now, what about indoors? Uh, we have something at the art gallery. Tell us about that. Well, the art gallery. Well, the art gallery there. Well, you can go to the art gallery. That's free too. You're talking about the one at Shelter Cove well, at, at that art at the art center. There's that plus at the Soba Art Gallery. Oh, uh, that. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. that's on Bluffton. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> the one at Bluffton. That's the okay. new. That's just has just started and will last through the through the month. So go go over there. You know, we are so lucky to have so many talented artists who all have different styles. They also teach, you know, those do cost money, but you can go over and see the products of their, of their knowledge and their labors at, and enjoy the afternoon. Plus, Bluffton is a pretty little town. Just, yeah, just walk around. Absolutely, walk around, check out the May River and the new Oyster Park is all free and redone. Beautiful yes, scenery. it is. And everyone's favorite, the farmer's market. And speak of speak of Bluffton and the farmer's market. Now it's not you. I have a feeling that you will not get out without spending a little money there. <laughs> but you can get a free ride and basically a free, a free um, trolley ride that sort of shows you Bluffton mm -hmm. on, you know, by wheel rather than by walking. That's fun. And then there's they have so much food, and they have so many uh, exhibits. Yes. And so much to do. They have a growers program, program for little children. Now, I think you have to check and see on their website what, when, the, when the little growers are going to be there, but your children would enjoy that. Yes, absolutely. And plus, um, at the farmer's market, 
you may have to buy some things, but you're getting fresh vegetables and oh, yes. products that are handmade or and you're supporting the local economy. So that's a win-win right and there. And you're going to meet so many neat people. And you know, too. the people mm -hmm. from Bluffton, well, of course the people from the Hilton, the people from this whole area are just, you know, you just can't beat the Hilton Head, Malou, and, and the low country ways that people are. It's, we're just so lucky to live here. Absolutely. Certainly blessed to live in this beautiful place. And Nancy, great to have you again telling us about where to go. Let so us tell you where to go and let us tell you where you can do it as cheaply as possible. Thank you very much. Sure. Stick right back. We'll be more here again with some more Talk of the Town.